Now, by today's standards, this is an ultimate device. This is a flagship from OnePlus. This is OnePlus top of the line offering. If you guys know, you know I have the OnePlus 9 as well, which I am selling that device, by the way. I decided not to keep the OnePlus 9. It's the unlocked variant, uh, 12 gig, 256 gig model. So look on my community tab or leave me a comment down below if you wanna purchase that device. It is $650 shipped. Now the OnePlus 9 Pro, uh, it became the favorite of the two um, just for the slightly larger screen. Uh, and just, uh, I don't know, the cameras uh, are pretty much the same, but they're just a hair difference in performance. So um, yeah, this this is the 12 gig, 256 gig model. Uh, and it is it's absolutely great. Snapdragon 888. Uh, I've been using this uh, for two months uh, and it, it, it's hard to believe it's been two months, <laughs> but it's actually been a little bit over two months, but I know it's been officially two months and the device has been performing fantastic. We all know that OnePlus packs in their devices with RAM just to make sure that it's going to work properly. Now this is the carbon case uh, for the OnePlus 9 Pro. I purchased every case option for the OnePlus 9 Pro uh, and uh, this is the carbon. I just kind of rotate uh, between all of the cases. I think if you want to protect the OnePlus 9 Pro, definitely just get their, their case that's offered by the company. I think that's probably going to be your best way to go because the fit and finish is flawless. It's just a good look for this phone because of that curved display. They built the case to spec and it's just not going to be like a third party one. A third party case will probably give you some issues down the line. So performance on here, fantastic. I'm glad that OnePlus teamed up with Hasselblad and decided to uh, do something different because their camera system definitely needed it. It needed a boost uh, uh, and it needed to make it stand uh, against cameras uh, in the smartphone world. These, these cameras are absolutely great for what they are. And I think if you decide to look into a phone that has good cameras, you can now permanently put OnePlus in that conversation. They're, Cameras were always just pretty good. They weren't great. Uh, and now I think the OnePlus 9 lineup took OnePlus to that greatness level. Now, while it doesn't beat up on or um, beat out several devices on, in the smartphone world with cameras, it is again in the conversation, which to me, in my humble opinion, they've not really been there at all uh, in some areas. So if you decide to pick up the OnePlus uh, 9 Pro, you can definitely look forward to uh, smooth performance. I mean, having a, a high refresh rate on a device uh, is something that I think most people, you don't get used to until actually using it. Uh, and you don't really know what it's like until you turn it off. So it's not something that I turn off because obviously my eyes are not set to that. Now, if I turn that off, I don't think I'll get any difference in battery because I've tried and it just doesn't make a difference to me for some that might have that argument about turning off the refresh rate and turning it down. But I just leave it at 120 Hertz and this is a quad HD display and I can actually adjust that as well. So I leave mine uh, in this um, adaptive power setting and I can go ahead and turn this off uh, and it will just stay on quad HD all the time. But for the most part, um, I want to watch videos and stuff. That's really where I want to see the high res. Other than that, I just leave it on auto and I haven't been affected by battery at all. Uh, but if you are getting into a OnePlus device, you definitely get the reap the rewards of customizing the device uh, to, to spec. However you want to do it, you can change this device up to make it look exactly how you want it. And that's always been uh, something that people appreciate about OnePlus when it comes to uh, customizations on Android. You've got all these different icon packs you can change to. It's just, it's a whole bunch that you can do uh, with this device uh, when it comes to customizations and things like that. You see, I changed my icons uh, and I changed the icon pack. Uh, it's just a lot going on here. So let's switch this back to the circles for me there. <clears throat> Customizations is uh, where uh, OnePlus kind of lives because Oxygen OS is really nice, and I really, I really just kind of like how they do things uh, with their their customizations that are built right in. One main feature that I really enjoy is being able to just change my icon pack without installing another third party launcher, and I think this is where they win. So, other than that, the OnePlus device has pleased in every way possible that a person could want for looking for a smartphone. What cons could they possibly have? Well, not everybody's gonna have a trade-in and uh, everybody won't get it for half off. 
Uh, is the device worth $1,000? I would say based on the competition, yeah, it competes well with a, another $1,000 device. You think of any $1,000 device, and you put this device next to it, if you're just gonna think about putting them in price range categories, this device is right up there with the best. Simple as that. It's right up there with every other thousand dollar device that you can think of, and it actually competes very well, if not is better than some of those thousand dollar devices that you might consider. Uh, outside of the cameras, the battery life is fantastic. Um, I charged it last night. Let me see here. I think I charged it yesterday sometime last night. I think I charged it late last night. Uh, but battery life uh, says that it's going to last until about 7 30 in the morning. Uh, but you know, that's. Battery life is something that, you know, it. I can't stress enough, it always depends on the user. Uh, that is how battery life should be determined. It shouldn't always be determined uh, by um, how much screen on time you have. People love to, love to do that. They love to talk about how much screen on time they have. Uh, but, you know, I personally don't like to measure screen on time. Uh, but this is how some people do it. So um, I measure battery life by how long it's been off of the charger. That's how I like to do it. But this device has roughly two and a half hours of screen on time, and I've got 57% left. I've been getting um, probably five to seven hours of screen on time, possibly even eight sometimes or more, depending on what I'm doing out of a single charge. And I probably could get more than that, but uh, I don't. I'm not really on my phones like doing too much. Uh, at one time, uh, or sitting, I don't sit on the phone a lot. I do what I need to do and then I get out. You know, I check it and then I leave, you know. And so sometimes you'll see me with four hours of screen on time with two days worth of battery. And that's good battery to me. That's, I think, not being able to put this on the charger so much is a positive thing. But speaking of chargers, that is where this guy comes in. And this is the included uh, 65 watt charger. Uh, this it's incredible that they give you this huge charger right here in the box and then other oems are taking away the chargers that just doesn't make any sense but you will be able to charge this device if if in fact you needed to charge this device quickly you could get this thing to 130 minutes like they promised uh sometimes it's, i've seen it go to within 29 minutes or 29 point um nine or 30 like almost just under 31 seconds it literally does it and i actually use fast charging all the time so if you're concerned about battery if you are not getting the best battery you've got this warp charging that will get you there hands down in one of the fastest times you'll ever you just won't believe it it is it is going to get you to 100 so fast period i probably could plug up next time I'll do a video where I charge the device uh, more likely and then well let's you just it doesn't it doesn't have to be on zero just charge it and then go ahead and use it and see how long how much battery juice I can get out of it for the length of the video that I'm doing um, so not like this zero to a hundred but just charging it just to see if the claims are really there so well to show you I know the claims are there but you guys might have some doubt about um, whether or not this device is actually going to charge that fast. Now, the one downside, I think, with fast charging all the time is that it could probably run the battery down over time. Uh, like a year later, you might only be getting 85% or 90%, something like that. So um, fast charging is cool and everything, but I don't do it all the time, but I do it most of the time. So sometimes you want to trickle, and, and the phone will trickle charge when it comes towards the end, I believe. Uh, but you might want to trickle charge sometimes, or just not use a 65 watt charger. Use a regular 18 or 25 or something like that, uh, and to get more life out of that battery. If you plan on keeping this device for its longevity, which could be two, four, five, six years, who knows? As long as you got a nice case on it when you're out and about, uh, and um, you can protect it from drops, uh, it's it's going to work fine. So the OnePlus 9 Pro uh, is, is is definitely OnePlus's best offering. I, I don't think otherwise. Um, I'm currently using it. Uh, I have my OnePlus Buds. And the OnePlus Buds are absolutely fantastic for 50 bucks, folks. Let me, let me talk about that while I'm in this video because that is something that I've always used with them. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the OnePlus watch because those clowns 
uh, put the coupons out there so soon and then they don't have inventory for it and then my coupon expired uh, and then you know yeah I know it's a hundred fifty nine dollar watch but that's not the point it's the principle of the matter they put these coupons out there to give everybody a chance to get it for twenty dollars off then they don't have inventory for it until after everybody's coupon expires and every time the watch is in stock it, it's out of stock within a few minutes which means they're not mass producing this watch they're not producing a ton of these watches because if that's the case we all would have had our fair share to buy it they were testing the waters to see what it would flop they didn't know how it would do uh, and they just wanted to do a quick money grab that's the way i see that about oneplus when it comes to their watch because there's no reason that a coupon that you offer should not be honored simple as that now the oneplus buds these are absolutely fantastic and this is the way you should go if you want to pair buds with your earbuds uh, with your head with your smartphone the oneplus buds have been fantastic in my use with them um no problems whatsoever connectivity issues used to be there but they just they're not they're not having any connective issue connectivity issues right now uh and it's just been great man i don't understand why a person wouldn't buy these for 50 bucks uh but hey it's up to you uh, if you're trying to keep it all one company, uh, I would definitely consider the OnePlus Buds. I, I totally would do a good, this is a great affordable combination with the earbuds to match with the OnePlus. Uh, but again, uh, I've been testing the OnePlus, um, the uh, Pixel Bud A's uh, in the recent days and it's just been fantastic. These sound much better than one would imagine um and yes they cost double the price of the oneplus buds but they are absolutely fantastic now the oneplus 9 pro experience overall folks it is fantastic you should not have a quarrel or an issue with using this device over time if you're a person that does not buy a bunch of phones and you want to go for the gusto you could actually buy the oneplus 9 if you just want that little bit smaller display and no quad hd display i would it's, it's, it's definitely not worth going from the 9 to the Pro for that $300 plus dollar difference. I, I wouldn't recommend you do that if you just want to get into the OnePlus 9 because, you know, it, it has a high refresh rate as well. Uh, not the same resolution, but it's pretty much the same device overall. So I wouldn't recommend that you buy the Pro just to, to say you have the Pro because you could save a lot of money by getting the 9. The 9 is what, 760 or 770 or something like that. And this is 3 or this is uh, three hundred dollars more, so ten seventies roughly. So it's up to you to determine what you want to do with your money. I personally favor the pro version. Uh, I just like it for some reason. I don't know why. I I, I think this version is is sweet. So uh, the OnePlus Nine Pro has been fantastic. It will continue to be here. Again, not everybody has a trade in to get it for half off. And if you don't have a trade in and you're wanting to get a, a OnePlus Nine device. I would recommend you get the nine version of this because you're pretty much going to, if you want to save money and you don't have a trade in, uh, you'll, you'll get the same experience. And also there's a 12 gig version of the one plus nine, 256 gig. And that's the one I have actually. So, um, yeah, it's up to you, but there are tons of links down below for one plus hit those links and uh, share the love. Those are affiliate links for me and they do help me out uh, with the purchases and things for the channel when you use those OnePlus links. I think pretty much all the links down below, most of them are affiliate links. Uh, but um, there you have it, man, OnePlus 9 Pro. It is definitely a phone that I would recommend in 2021 going forward into 2022.